Okay. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to show you how to deploy SDBI in a Raspberry Pi computer. Because uh, as I mentioned in a GitHub, the GitHub repository there, first you have to do three things. First, you have to download these uh, Apache HTTP server and curl loops and SQLite uh, database uh, live in your computer. Uh, I'm not going to do that part. Next thing you have to do is uh, go to the DB request directory sorry mm. in in a db request s folder s folder you have to change the where database loca database is located Okay, DB path. You you should provide uh, absolute path here or relative path as you wish. Because uh, I haven't done that the machine to machine. This this is this may this may be this might be changing. Okay, let's try. Um, I'm done. I'm done in that way. So um, you should create a path and create a test DB or whatever like uh, with that folder and give the permission for the database as mentioned in, in my repository in github mm, so i'm not going to do that part because i haven't done, I've done that then directly go to the folder called deployment in there in first you there is nothing to do okay just run the configuration file before run that one you have to give the execution permission on that to do that uh, that's it man yeah that's it so next thing you have to do is run the configuration files on this boot mm, if you already created the repository there are sometimes you may get some errors at that time you want to do to just click the clean just sudo config clean okay this one install it this, this one is going to install it install install the application into your computer but it just clean the all the garbage uh, which has been created so you can see that after that you just click on that one then you can see that which file has been compiling right now this little bit slow because my Raspberry Pi is a 512 memory card, uh, my card and my memory and 15 megabyte per second free drive memory to SD card so it's a little bit slow don't worry if you have anything Compilation is done. Next, you have to provide the where CJ uh, been located. I default default uh, locations are given. So if you haven't been changed, just put things work. Then you have to provide this uh, Apache conf httpd conf file is located. So right now I'm going to override the default configuration files. No in Apache HTTP server. So if you already do if you already done or you done something there, don't do alright here, okay? You just go there and do it manually. If you don't want to do that just put here. You can see that all the modules which are required this API go as in mm, enabling and you can see that but so restarting and finally got this one finally got this error message sql error use table already exists something like that so this this has been showing because uh, i already created database and i have done some processing on that so if you haven't done that this you won't get this error because this is not just this won't affect the installation process okay Thank you. Uh, next video, I will show you how working example on this. Okay.